Wasn't expecting to see these boys at the bottom of the hill, but there they were on a bridge that I wasn't supposed to be on. Well, hey, happy July 30th. It's the long weekend. I'm going to be making our way across the St. Lawrence River today. But I would like to thank some of my sponsors. 19 Melrose. Well, Marilyn Ryder is my sister-in-law. And uh, she is the reason Marie and I are together. She is the one that hooked us up. Um, Marie and uh, Marilyn used to run a flower shop. Uh, and then uh, they closed down the store. Marilyn um, uh, built a studio um, on her property, and she now does special events. Very creative person. Love the lady. She's a sweetheart, and she does a fantastic job. If you're looking for weddings or funerals or special events, that's your name. Um, Phoenix Inspiration, George. George has got an eye for detail. If you're looking to get a kitchen designed or um, a bathroom designed, George from Phoenix Inspiration is the guy for you. George doesn't need to do this. George loves to do this. It's his passion, so that's a great thing. Hennessy Hammock Tents. Hennessy has given me two tents to sell. I didn't get them right away, so I haven't put them up for sale yet. Anybody that knows me that uh, has watched my videos camping, I use a Hennessy hammock tent. It is the best way to camp, and Hennessy is the best tent I've ever come across. Um, you can check out videos that I've done on them. So I will be selling two Hennessy hammock tents um, in the fall. Ant Construction. What can I say about Ant Construction, Wayner? I've known Wayne, um, as I like to call him, Wayner, um, for years. Uh, I've done personal training with him and his whole family. Uh, Ant Construction stands for Aaron, Mom, and Tracy, uh, his uh, daughter, son, and wife. And um, if you know Wayne, Wayne is a go-getter. He's always on the go. Go, 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 go. So if you have a house built and you want a house that is going to be attention to detail, Wayne is your guy. Then there's Legacy Funeral Homes. Matt Drury um, went out on his own because he didn't like seeing people getting nickel and dime to death on um, funeral things. He's, it's a sad time of people's lives and he wants to make it the best that it can be. Um, so if you're looking for a no hassle, honest guy, Matt Drury is your guy. Legacy Funeral Home in Barry. Um, say about that it's um, not a nice topic but we all die so and then there's Easter Seals is one of our charities Easter Seals they do great things for kids that have disabilities if you want to help these are the people to go support thank you now when I tried to put Google Maps route for this trip it would not let me put it across this bridge and apparently there was a reason why because you're not allowed on any of the highways with only two numbers three numbers yes but no two numbers so i find out at the bottom of this hill
have an idea on you? With you? No, I have no idea on me. Dress all the Canada without hiding. My wife has the I all my ID. She's in the motor home. And uh, where? Uh, she's somewhere going to Canadian Tire. My pump broke, so she's gone to get me another pump. Okay. Yeah. What's the name of your wife? Marie Belcourt. Marie? Yeah. Did you spell the last name? B E L C O U R T. Do you know his birthday? Her date is um, November 3rd, 1960. Where did you sleep last night? Uh, just on the other side of the bridge there, underneath the bridge. The yep. The yep. Now the reason these officers are having such a hard time is because I told them my name was Bill Shoup, um, as it is William, but I just figured they'd know Bill was short form for William. But I, obviously they didn't, because they couldn't find me in the system anywhere. And you have, uh, you have a governor's son on your... Do I have a driver's license? Yeah. 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 No. Ontario. Uh, Ontario driver's license. Yep. Yeah. No. No charges. No nothing. I'm no. clean. You okay. I will not arrest you today. Thank you. You're not arrested. Okay. No. The question. Oh, uh, have I been arrested, or do I want to be arrested? <laughs> I don't want to be arrested. No, I'm not. Yeah, like I said, I didn't realize I couldn't because there was no signs. Yeah. I looked on uh, in the road and there was no signs, so I thought it was... Do you, a... do you film with your camera? Do I pin? Did you film with your camera? Pin. Did you uh, film... Uh, oh, on my GoPro. Yeah, I yeah. filmed it going across your phone, the... Br your phone is not uh, recording now. Up. Ah. Are you recording? I am. There goes the cycling Rambo. There's my boy. He heard me talk. Make him go up the hills so I don't have to haul his 80 pound butt up the hill. And he really wants to get in. I mean, get out and run. And of course, we got a downhill here, so I'm going to be putting him in the back and He's not going to want to go if he starts to slow down as we get to the top of the hill. Okay, Yosh, in the back. No, no, in the back. Reluctantly. Bonjour, Bill. C'est un plaisir de te rencontrer. Je suis Véronique. J'habite dans Lanaudière, dans un petit village à Saint-Jean-de-Matin, et je m'en vais à rivière à claude en Gaspésie. Bonne route! Cool. Thank you. You're welcome, An Another awesome biker going <laughs> across this country. Well, hello there. Um, I got 33 kilometers left to go. This is one of these days where I'm really tired. Um, I need a break. I don't think we'll get it tonight, hopefully tomorrow night, once we get on the other side of Quebec City. But yeah, I'm uh, I'm drained today, physically, mentally, going over that bridge, getting pulled over by the police didn't help. Um, that's another story, another video. Um, <clears throat> anyways, uh, yeah, Marie's been doing a lot of running around, she's still behind me, should be passing me in about half an hour. Um, yeah, it's just uh, Yoshi's loving it back there, <clears throat> but uh, all's good. Just I'm I'm wore down. Anyways, but you know what? I'm pretty lucky. I'm out here. There's the Saint Lawrence River. Okay, so not half bad, eh? Anyways, take care, people. Well, 
Amanda, your question was, what is the funniest um, thing that's happened on my trip or encounter? You know what I get the best laugh out of is when I'm trying to do talk about our places and I get the, the pronouncing it wrong. I was going to say pronunciation, but Marie would have corrected right. me on that You're one. Right. <laughs> um, or when I tried to do the Scottish accent and Marie and Glenn were just making fun of me. Um, I have a hoot with that. I, I really do enjoy the um, banter back and forth. Um, I've had some great encounters. Um, yeah, what was your other question? Uh, was um, surprise. What surprised me the most, I think, is how I can push myself to ride almost every day with just a day here and there, a break. Um, I'm surprised at, um, that at my age, 60, that I'm still able to do it. So thank you for your question.